Hello everybody, welcome back to Miss Press and I am Mijan Rohman Mijan from Miss Press and uh, today I am going to record a video about 7-zip command tutorial that is how you are going to use 7-zip on your Linux or VPS that is using Linux. Uh, you can have a written version of this uh, uh, tutorial on my personal blog on misspress.com and uh, you can follow me in Facebook by liking my page or myself and and you can also visit my uh, channel in YouTube okay let's get, let us get started uh, for doing so we have to use a common line application like putty in Windows if we are in Windows or you can do it in the terminal of Linux so first uh, log into your uh, operating system Linux or to your VPS through putty uh, SSS so I am on my VPS Linux and I'm going to give the command uh, to I'm on a VPS uh, uh, CentOS this is the CentOS based VPS so we are going to use yum command uh, first I'm going to it's my uh, habit I'm going to update all the packages by yum update let us check if there is any update okay so there is some there are some updates so I'm going to update those uh, by giving the Y command okay all done uh, now uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, check if 7-zip is installed on this system or not just giving the command name 7-zip um, okay now uh, uh, the command line saying that 7-zip uh, 7-zip uh, command is not found that means 7-zip is not installed in my VPS so what I'm going to do yum uh, install 7-zip let us check if it is possible no package 7-zip available so that means actually uh, there is no package uh, uh, named 7-zip on the CentOS based repository so let us check how we gonna solve this issue so uh, yum install p7zip yeah now the command is okay I'm installing it so now if sorry help sorry still uh, 7z is not available so let us check if uh, there is another command for doing so or not that means uh, in the CentOS so we have to give 7z z z a that is 7z a command for the 7zip so uh, these are the help file what command actually 7zip actually supports uh, we can check it and we can use it okay these are the basic commands and these are some extended comments switches okay now I am going to use another VPS to show you uh, uh, the command um, that is making archive and uh, extracting an archive listing the files because this is our production uh, server the f that one I am showing you uh, so I am going to make use the raw practice server that I use uh, uh, to you know hone my skill on Linux so I'm going to switch that this server is based on Debian and um, in this one uh, uh, 7 zip a instead of 7 zip a 7 z a we are going to use 7 z because uh, this one in Deb Debian uh, 7 zip actually hmm, 7 command actually start with 7z and in uh, CentOS based uh, Linux uh, 7za so in here we are going to use 7z okay same thing 
uh, so no problem uh, now I'm going to so now I'm going to show you the commands so I'm going to change my directory from where I'm going to make the files or directory uh, as an archive or I'm going to extract those so I'm going to switch my uh, directory first let me maximize so you actually see things properly uh, alas sorry okay so I'm going to change the directory that I want to go okay so here is my directory I'm going to use the folder name test uh, if that is available yeah I'm going to choose that going one step one level up so here I am now I'm going to give the command 7zip 7z for this one and then I'm going to give the right uh, uh, command that is the word for this case a for archive then the archive name that is I'm going to use taste.7z because I'm going to you know make this one uh, compressed so I'm going to give that then I have to give the folder name that I want to change okay so I'm giving that so everything is okay nice so let me check if that is there yeah it is so the archive has been done uh, to earn an ex uh, you know to extract what we have to give is uh, let me first remove the archive okay fine to you know extract we have to give the command 7z e then the archive name 7z okay done nice okay fine we can do the same thing using you know let me remove again rm test and then forcefully recursive forcefully okay fine so we can do the same thing again by x for extract okay sorry <laughs> nice let me check yeah so you can do it or using uh, X or E for extracting a 7-zip archive or we can actually see list the file in, inside of an archive by you know 7 L then the archive name you can check whatever inside of that archive you know we can even delete an item from the archive by 7z then we have to give uh, the d command for that then we have to give the file or folder name so i am going to do you know i'm going to give the test uh, that is a folder name images so sorry d then images uh, then the recursive uh, i think i have done it uh, well or not I think I haven't done it perfectly so I am missing something that is the archive name who <sighs> test dot 7c then the uh, file or directory then the R command nice let me check again if it is okay mm, test dot 7z okay there is no images folder inside of this one nice now uh, do we still have the test folder yes we do so I am going to update an archive that is I'm going to update the test of 7z with uh, the from the folder test to check if there is new file and to override uh, to add those files so I'm going to do that by 7z then you for that then we have to give the archive name that is in this case test.7z then the folder that we're matching okay nice okay so updating archive done fine let me check if that is correct by L then the archive name 7z nice 
now the image is inside of that one so these are the command that you are actually going to use in your day-to-day -day life work if you are using command line interface for this so feel free to use it and uh, let me know if you have anything to know or you are having some difficulties uh, giving this command or you know some command that can help the people by commenting on YouTube or on my blog or in my you know Facebook page or my personal profile if you are my friend so I think you have enjoyed and uh, let me know for any new tutorial request. I look forward to seeing you again in any of my tutorial. Till then, bye bye.